When you run a one sample t-test in SPSS, you get two tables of output. The first table provides descriptive statistics for the sample. So here we can see that there were 28 students in the class and that their mean test score was 75.54. This is the value that we will be comparing with the national average of 86.4 using the one sample t-test. You can also see that the sample's test scores varied around this mean by an average of 5.568 points. This is the standard deviation. At the top of the second table, the test value of 86.4 is displayed. This is the value that we're comparing the sample mean with. Always check that this figure is correct before reading the rest of the table. So next, reading across the table from left to right, we have the results of the t-test, which is statistically significant because the two-tailed significance level is less than alpha, which we typically set at 0.05. This allows us to reject the null hypothesis for the one-sample t-test, which is that there is no difference between the sample mean and the test value. So in other words, there is a statistically significant difference between our sample mean of 75.54 and the test value, which is the national average literacy score of 86.4. The raw difference between these two values is negative 10.864, which is displayed in the mean difference column. And the 95% confidence interval around that mean difference ranges from negative 13.02 through to negative 8.71. So to report this finding, we might say something like, a one sample t-test indicated that the 28 students had an average literacy test score 10.86 points lower than the national average of 86.4. This difference was statistically significant at an alpha level of 0.05. Now note that even though the significance value is reported as 0.000 by SPSS, you should use less than 0.001 in your reporting. Also note that if your research hypothesis was directional, you can divide the p-value in half and report the test as one-tailed. And finally, don't forget that when writing up a piece of research like this, you may also be required to report the results of your assumption testing and an effect size. And you can refer to StatHand for more information about these.